show, episode number three one three. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Starstream. Hello, everybody. How are you all been doing? Hey, man, it's been a while. How are you doing? It's been the same. Not, not much difference other than I went for a bit of travel and here and there. Ah, cool, cool. Okay, um, what's the update on your hardware? My update on my hardware, my uh, my motherboard is coming back, so that was a good sign. But I just sent out my Scarlet 2i2. But my GPA haven't done any, uh, what do you call it, return to manufacturer yet. Uh-huh. So I still have to do that processing. But I did confirm that my RAM is working, so it means my CPU should be working. Alright, alright. So your processor is still okay? Maybe, because we still haven't tested, but I'm just waiting for my motherboard to come back first. Then I can test it. Alright, so basically you'll be getting, quote unquote, a new computer for nothing. Alrighty then. Uh, I do hope that you don't have to spend any more cash on um, <laughs> repairing. That that will be well. Well, the high chance I think will be that I will may need to pay for my new GPU, but overall I think it shouldn't be that bad because apparently the GPU market price has been going down now. Yeah, it's a bit quite I stabilizing, heard, so I it's heard. so it's okay now. Yeah. You know what? Ten eighty Titan. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, uh, also joining us is Daniel Anthony. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing, man? It's been for you. I would say it's been a while. Like you were on that special, but I'm gonna say it's been a while. Yes, it has been a while since I've been on a regular episode. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, how have you been doing, man? Like, what's new? I am good, and um, pleased to announce that actually, since that special episode. C Pony Coin has raised about one hundred and twenty US dollars in, I in its ICO. Wow! Oh wow! Okay. Um, not sure if I help. <laughs> um, I'm not sure either, but I'm I'm you know it's that's the thing about cryptocurrency. It's untraceable in some ways, you know, and people don't have to declare who they are when they pay you. But yeah, we've we've raised some money, and to whoever contributed and bought the tokens, we hope you enjoy a little digital souvenir and. Thank you very much. The, that those funds, as promised, will go towards helping to offset the debts of the con. Yay! Project nice. Zipponicon loves you. Yay! I have a bit of cryptocurrency. <laughs> oh, boys! <laughs> so, well, well it ain't that bad. I think um, Starstream also has some, right? I, I airdropped some to you as well. Yeah, I think I had some. <laughs> Yay! We 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 are building the, the empire. <laughs> we're in the club. Woohoo! <laughs> ah, boys. Who's nice having you on? And talking about building the empire, <laughs> ah, my segue <laughs> skills are terrible. Uh, Lauren Faust, we all know her as the goddess who God. <laughs> yeah, us. God. <laughs> goddess. God. <Fun>. Us. <laughs> what if God was a woman? <laughs> Uh, God is a girl. Oh God, no, no, no. What if God was one of us? Oh God. Anywho, uh, she was the person responsible for MLPG uh, G four, um, the season that we're at now. Sorry, uh, the generation. The generation we're, in, we're at now. Yeah. We're at season eight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's been an amazing ride. She didn't last that long. I think about two episodes, probably. Sorry, two, uh, two and a seasons? half seasons. Yeah. So, since G5 was quote-unquote announced or not really announced, was it leaked or something like that? I'm not 100% sure. But, Sorry? Uh, G5. Yeah, that's like in 2020 or something. Yeah, it was kind of yeah. leaked, kind of announced. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, um, it was... Well, I'll take it with a pinch of salt until things happen because, you know, you never know what... um. Could come up. Yeah. True, true, true. You never know what the corporation thinks. Yep. So, yeah, anywho, I mean, you know, emails are emails. They change from time to time. And, uh, you know, if you work long enough in corporate, you realize that, hey, emails can disappear. <laughs> yeah. But, anywho, I think a lot of people have been asking Lauren about it. And she sent, it, uh, she sent out a tweet uh, for anyone asking, I'm afraid I'm not involved in MLP G5. But I am heading up a reboot of DC Superhero Girls. I hope you like like just as much. Yeah, G5, she's not responsible for it. So uh, things are not going to be the same. 
Uh, no, I mean, of course not. New generations always mean new things and they're not going to be the same. Otherwise, if they're the same, why will we watch it? For, I don't know. It's one of those things where, hey, I remember, this is, is fun. But yeah, uh, I, I'm just not sure. A new twist on things would be fun. A, what you call this, um, fresh, breath of fresh air, something like that. But then again, if it's by the same crew, we want... I may not be sure. We may expect much change, but other than the show characters change. But if they still have the same name, then from what I remember, oh. they are going to have the same names. It's just the look and style is going to be different. But here's the thing: I do hope it's going to be a success, like G Four is, and we'll see how they push it. Because from what I can tell, it's going to be a totally different in style. But I don't know. It's one of those shows where it has potential, but I got no idea where it's going. So, it... well, only one way to find out. Just like G four that we're watching now, I think since the scourge of G three and three point five, everybody didn't want to give the show a chance. Oh yeah, true that, true that, true that. But now coming out of this, they have too high enough ex- expectation, so we got no idea how they is going to go because they could do the. Little pet shop route, and that's not good. Which was okay, and the f- I mean, I like the little pet shop previous uh, generation, not not so much the current one. I mean, oh, the current one's okay, but the which, previous one's sorry, better. which one are you talking about? Because um, I'm talking about life to the new one, like the human girl who can listen to the pet stocks. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, I mean, I like that one. I like that one. The newer one is not that. Mm, let's just say that they're in their own world. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Oh, that lasted. I can never years. forget that line. <laughs> that that show lasted for all three seasons. Hyper Clark. <laughs> oh, I just like I I just like how I think Larson was involved in one episode. He probably was, yeah. Yeah, uh, and then Mando Pony was on. He sang a track, so yeah. <clears throat> ah, yes, he was. So, anywho. Whatever it is, I can't wait to see G5. I, I hope it is a success so we can carry on with the show. Like I, I wouldn't say I can't wait. I'm like, let G4 play out. I like G4. Oh, yeah, I like G4 too. I, 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 so, uh, G4, please take your time. I'm in no hurry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we started an empire with this. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. and I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some of us even started Crystal's Empire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know though it was frozen in ice for so long, and the government doesn't know what the heck she's doing. <laughs> oh, boys! But anywho, talking about people who got no idea what they're doing, <laughs> that's another kind of a segue. <laughs> uh, Watch Mojo just released their top ten stupidly overpowered cartoon characters, and hey, did you just say Watch Mojo? Watch Mojo. <laughs> the Faust is rubbing off on you. <laughs> hey, I just said Mojo, but anywho. Uh, top 10 uh, stupidly overpowered character and hey I like a good top 10 as mm. the next person because top 10 lists are always fun it's simple to do and it's fun to discuss about mm. your opinion and whatnot. and this one here is kind of okay too well you see um, when your when your character is OP and it makes the character bad that's one thing but if your character is OP because that's the character. Yep, yep. And that makes a lot more sense. Yep. And I want to go along with you guys with this one. I'm going to list out what they pick as their top 10. So, mm-hmm. yay or nay, and just tell me why. Number 10 is Ben Tennyson from Ben 10. He's a villain. What? Villain? I thought that was a, 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 a... Because isn't this the list of... Uh, st- oh, it's, oh I, thought it's, I thought it was for oh, stupidly overpowered villains. Okay. No, no, characters. Um... Characters, okay, fine. Right. Yeah. So, Ben Tennyson, what do you think? Should he be on the list? Considering the uh, fact that he has a watch, that he has a wish, has the ability to change into other characters, uh, it could be. Mm-hmm. I mean, I consider, like... him ten char- I consider him 10 characters. Oh, yeah, but in future... 11, because he himself is one. <laughs> yeah, but in all honesty, uh, I kind of agree. Like, mm-hmm. there's a alien that he can transform that has the ability to snap his finger and everything is done. Like, in a snap. 
Okay. Yeah, I, that's true. Yeah, yeah. But you know, if you wanna put, if you wanna talk about snapping fingers and getting things done, there's Jerry from Totally Spies. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but he's not in here. He's not in here. So yeah. So anyway, uh, number nine. Because he doesn't have a power. He has money. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. Number nine. And yes. corporate power. Corporation. Corporation. He should corporate be in there. Power. Corporate power. Yeah. yeah. They're stupidly overpowered. Whoop. Over corporate power. Whoop. If you remember right. Capitalist. <laughs> yes. Yep, the whoop. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, number nine is <laughs> Uncle Grandpa. From um, which show? Okay, Uncle Grandpa. Gravity Falls. No, no, Uncle Grandpa. He, it is his own character. His the show. The, the name of his show is his name, Uncle Grandpa. He, okay, I don't know that show. I, that I have no idea. No idea too. But from what I can tell, he's one of those sketch comedy shows where nothing makes sense. And are you saying this old man is stronger than Ben Ten? I mean, uh... y- yes. <laughs> yes. If, yes. If he can do what Ben does without the watch, I'll give him credit yes. for it. Okay, number eight here is Prismo from Adventure Time. Um, Adventure Time has... We, okay, we all here are a bit off with Adventure Time. We only know Jake and Finn. That's about it. And Fiona. And Bimo. Mm-hmm, Bimo. And Princess Bubblegum. Uh, Princess Bubblegum, yeah, yeah. And also... The... And I've never watched a single episode. That's the best part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So anyway, uh, Prismo is a pink shadow guy, blah, blah, blah. He can... He, actually, he's a shadow dream guy. Who's being manifested by a sleeping old man, but he can do a lot of stuff. Like I'm not hundred percent sure. Just look at some episodes. Like he can even travel. Why in time. is spot eight and nine taken up by a grandpa? I don't know. But okay, let's let's skip that one because I got no idea. Number seven, it's him from the Powerpuff Girls. Yeah. Yep, Lobster Man. Yeah, yep. um, it's him, the El Lobster Diablo. Bubble. Rogue Dark Side Robocop thing. <laughs> yep, yep. So he he's fun. Like I I remember him. He 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 had good episodes. Uh, I think he should be yes, on the list. He did, and uh, he's the thing is he's manipulative, and his that's not really a power. He's just he's just uh, you playing know, he's the mind game. Smart. He's yeah. a, he's a mind game guy. Then, you know, then, he's then, hip, you, hip, hypnotist in a sense. You forget he's El Diablo. <laughs> Okay, fine. So anyway, ex- but then again, what to expect? He's considered as a devil. Yes, <laughs> but anywho, number six. You know, we got you got this red dude with claws for hands harassing three little <laughs> girls. Come on, shut up, shut up. We're going next one. Next one is because there maybe maybe he's a. That's not a word. That's not a word. <laughs> you never know. Oh, uh, sweetie, must got a lot you of work, know, right? Anyway, number six. <laughs> Worm from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I got no idea. I seen an episode and he's like quote unquote Discord, but not really. Uh, number five is Chaos from Aladdin. He's a cat that has wings and does a lot of mischief. So yeah, Kajita's wears if you have coins. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> but still, he he's okay, I guess. And then number four, Aku from Samurai Jack. Okay, fine. I'll give this um, Arab oil king his due. <laughs> you, know, you cut him and all, you yeah. cut him and all you see is just crude oil falling out of him. Oh boy, so you. <laughs> ah yeah. Yeah, but Aku, Aku is fun as a character. He's overly yeah. powerful. He can send people through time. He can manipulate. He can shift shift. Oh, could you just imagine that awkward moment he he and Jack had? Oof. I open a time portal. I'm like, yeah, you lazy. That's not a word. The way to solve your mistakes, hey. Yep, yep. So, anyway, really, guys, I've got a problem. Let's send the problem back. <laughs> oh. This is an eBay. <laughs> uh, but anyway, number three, our favorite Draconicus, Discord. Hey, so yeah, Discord is on the list. He's overpowered. We, we all know Discord. We, we don't really need to talk about it. But number three on the list, you think? No, it's we too do. Low? We do know. We de- do need to talk about oh, this. Right. Is Discord more powerful than Aku? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> See. Considering he's the power of chaos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, okay. Okay, fine. He has, okay, he hasn't tasted the katana yet, but let's... Okay, okay. <laughs> ah, yes, that's but true. Discord tasted the power of friendship. And here's the thing. Aku is strong in his world, but Discord here has shown us that he is able to pick items from multiple dimensions. Yes, and that... Yes. I mean, I don't know why he hasn't picked the glorious Nippon steel from Samurai Jack just yet. <laughs> Or then again, uh, it, I wonder what happened if Aku tasted friendship. Oh god, I got no idea. But so some people at home might be confused to what I'm saying here. In the season four premiere, this 
was it season four, season five? I don't remember, but season five probably. But anyway, in one of the season premiere, uh, Discord was hanging around with the main six. I think this was at the Tree of Harmony, and when he wanted to go off, he popped in Blight's scooter and rode it off. So you could just imagine that he took Blight's bike from Little's pet shop. What? That's got a good point. He's got he's got an ability to do that. So let's see. I mean, you see. <laughs> This is this is yeah this right this is where it gets pretty damn awkward with him. <laughs> yeah, but Discord is Discord. He can, he can change. Them. Yeah, he is. But we know Discord's weakness. Oh yeah, it's Flutter That's, Shy. Yeah, Flutter Shy is his weakness. I mean, I don't know Aku's weakness to be very frank with you. It's the Samurai Sword. Because no, the glorious Nippon Steel doesn't do. <laughs> That's not a word. To him, <laughs> it does. It hurts him. <laughs> The the shine the shiny Nippon steel. Oh boy! <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, number two is Bill. Hold it over twenty times. <laughs> anyway, number two is Bill Cipher from Gravity Falls. I agree with this one. This one is a good one. Oh, the Illumina the Illuminati, yeah. Something like that. The eye of I I forgot the all seeing eye. The all seeing eye, yeah. The Illuminati. <laughs> yeah, but he's a good character. I've seen Gravity Falls, and yeah, it him to put as a second place. Yeah. Uh, the, I think the only reason why Discord is not higher is because that he's been turned to the good side, quote unquote. And Bill Cipher, he's just a jerk. Like he is pure villain. So yeah, points up there. The villains need purpose. I disagree, but what the heck? But number one, could you guys? Because we've all played the we've all played the Sims, and we all know what it's like to be eagle, and we like it. <laughs> Oh, you. But anyway, number one. I got no idea, but I'm just going to make you guys guess. If you've seen the list, lie to me or something like that. So, who's number one? Tom. Tom? <laughs> Tom and Jerry. Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what about you, Dan? You know, you could be Kaz from Puffy Ami Yumi because that manager is a... That's not a word! <laughs> Why, how is he overpowered? Hello, have you... Met the manager of Papi Ami Yumi. Do you see the way he abuses the contract? <laughs> yeah, but no, no, it's the power of. But you sign, you sign, you sign a contract with your musicians, and I relate to this because I own Crystal Empire Records. You know, <laughs> uh, it's not him. But number one is Rubber Dub Dub. Is Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty? Okay, mm-hmm. why? How is he even overpowering? He can travel through dimension. He can create. Items. So can Discord. Yeah, but he can create. Yes, yeah, so can of... Discord. So can Discord. Discord. He breaks his fourth wall and whatnot. And, Token Discord. And he does. He's not good or evil. He's neutral. Well, or more to say that he only thinks of himself. So can he drink the glass from chocolate milk? <laughs> no, but I think he can. In then he's not worthy of that spot. I think he can in some universe. Oh, but anyway, no bad. No bad. This like this is kind of cool. Yeah. I don't agree with number one. This card needs to like, be number one. <laughs> we all, yes. We all want... No, 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 guys, guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right. It's I got it all wrong. Robbie Rotten should be number one. Who? Who's that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <Hey. laughs> oh, you. Anyway, stop it. Content ID is gonna... I can't, I can't play it. I'm not paying attention to the keyboard. <laughs> But anyway. See what I'm doing, but, anyway. but yeah, there's because he is number one. <laughs> yeah, okay. He can transform into a grandma and get someone to pull him across the road. Oh wow! Spawn up an apple. That's not a word. High end anesthetics. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. One bite, man. Come on, the last person to do that was the witch from Snow White. She got her ass kicked. Yeah, uh, Sweeney was going to have a good time in this episode. <sighs> but anyway, that's news for today. Um, nothing new, really, in terms of news. N- not much, not much. I tried scouting around, but I didn't find any. So, anywho, um, let's head on to the next topic. And next topic is, what have we been doing with our week? So, Star, what have you been doing, man? For this week, nothing has much changed. But if you talk about a few weeks ago... I was traveling to KL for uh, just some vacation oh. during that uh, public holiday. So I went and meet up then. Ooh, and yeah. we had some good time. Yeah. Oh, this you guys need to share. Like, 
tell us the story of how you guys met up and do stuff. And he uh, just told me he was in town and I went over after work and we sat down, had some drinks and then uh, kind of went over to his uh, place and that's where I showed off like, you know, how a bit of how Sea Pony Coin works and also kind of introduced him to that TV show I've been watching on a binge now. <laughs> the chasers war and everything. <laughs> yeah. Hilarious show. You should watch some of it. I mean, um, one of the reasons why I really like it is because it reminds me of what I used to do on 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 my on TV in the sense the my my old show, mm-hmm. the fact sheet. Oh, okay. So yeah. it kind of brought back a lot of memories and a lot of things I wish I could do because they they go and harass politicians. Oh wow! That's <laughs> on on another totally another different level. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! So what else did you do? Like, did you guys hang out even more? Play some games or whatever like that? Oh, we didn't play much, but we did went to a buffet. <laughs> oh yeah, we went for uh, we went for Naughty Nuri's, which was a uh, Indonesian style pork, which is pretty amazing. You know, if you ask me, I'm 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 afraid you can't join us for those things. But you know, if you're it, when we go to Johor, we know what we're getting. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, we, we already we'll discussed it. Yeah. So that's good yeah. stuff as well. So besides that, like, what else have you guys been doing? Like, Star, uh, let, let's focus with you for a bit. Anything that you did when you were in KL? Anything I did, uh, suppose, uh, actually, one thing that, not much actually, we just, I just walk around, because actually I just went with my family this time, but wow. I did say I take one or two days, uh, hang out with my friends, and I was actually on, uh, on, was it Saturday? Saturday? Yeah, Saturday, yeah, no, Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then it was like having a rhythm game meetup and whatnot, so we were like chilling and whatnot, yeah. <laughs> Cool. I meet yeah. up with oh, the yeah, other yeah. furries. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, now that you mentioned Rhythm Game Meetup, the Rock yeah. Fever 3 machine in Wanutama has no sound. <laughs> it has no sound. Mm. I put the tokens I, in. I was like, maybe the sound comes on after I put the coins in. No, it didn't. That's disappointing. I think, I, I think, I think the thing is that it's working. It's just that someone didn't like go inform the people to change the volume. You're not supposed to have to do that. I mean, like I was. No, you can because some people they help. they prefer some people they the more popular ones will just drown out the sound, so they just mute the whole machine. Wow. Some yeah, but I had to like I had to hum the tune in my head as I was playing it, and I'm not humming it at the same speed the notes are falling. Yeah. <laughs> well, re- now, like, why am I missing everything? No, maybe, maybe I'm off. Oh, read rhythm games. I, I shut up for a second, and I'm like, oh wait, the machine has no sound. I have to make my own sound. <laughs> Re- rhythm games need sound. That's why they call rhythm games. So and then I played. Then after that, we played a song which I didn't know. You know, I, I I've never played before. I'm like, now I'm screwed because I don't know how to hum this thing. <laughs> uh, okay, all right. So then, what about you? What have you been doing uh, aside from fighting with the uh, rhythm arcade machines? <laughs> um, it's uh, the elections are in a couple of weeks in Malaysia. Been hard at work hey. in the news uh, newsroom for that. It is hilarious at the same time, also pretty upsetting, but. We've got, we've got. I, I was talking to y'all before the show about this. We've got people making really, really elementary mistakes, like leaving their documentation at home and stuff during during your nomination day. I'm like, how lost can you be? You know, these are the documents that the police can pull up to you any time of the day oh, and be yeah. like, hey, let me see some ID, and they want to see that thing. And yeah, yeah, you're you want to be an elected politician and you're not carrying it around. Like, what gives? Yeah, the a good example is for our Western uh, Western audience is they want to see your driver's license. So, unfortunately, here the driver's license isn't good enough. Yeah, because we have our ID card. So yeah, because in the mm-hmm. states they don't have uh, an ID card. They have their yeah, they have license from I can tell. They have their social security number. Yes, uh, is that ah? Uh, you know what? I I'm, I'm not even sure anymore. I think there's an ID card. There is an ID. Yeah, yeah. Card. They, they they do. They do. They do. If not, there's also student. There's a universal student ID. Yeah, but if you're not a student anymore, then how? <clears throat> That's the thing. I mean, you can get a fake one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which we do not condone. Uh, yeah, elections coming soon. Mm. So if you're registered to go vote, go vote. Pick the right one that you feel that is right for our country. Yay! Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's gonna be one of the most interesting elections this year because uh, surprising a lot of people think that our oldest candidate are, is ninety three years old. It's not. 
we may have a 99 year old contesting the thing is that um she claims to have submitted her form but it looks like her registration didn't go through but we're still checking that out um there is a woman in Trunganu up in the north she is nine she's 99 years old this year she's been running in the last three elections she hasn't won once but apparently she's trying to contest again this year mm, okay <clears throat> at 99 years of age and um Tun Mahathir Mohamad, who is uh, the former Prime Minister of Malaysia, is entering the ring once again in the opposition side at the age of 93. So, Ooh. yeah, it's quite a quite a crazy uh, set of people. We've got our, apparently the youngest candidate. I, I'm not sure if he was successfully nominated because I wasn't uh, monitoring his constituency. He's apparently 24 years old. Ooh, that's so young. we've got a huge generation gap, right? Yeah, he's younger than me. Oh, yeah, it's a huge generation mm. gap. And in all honesty, ah, see here's the thing. You have a person who has experience in this, and the chances of him doing a good job is there. And then you have a young blood who has his own vision, who has his own ideas. So probably he'll do a good job too. I don't know. So you well, we'll see who the people choose because that's really what will determine everything. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how much faith one can have in a 24-year-old because I know people who are 30 who still haven't got their... That's not a word! ...together. Yeah, so that, but then you have to remember the President of the United States has a lot of help. <laughs> he, oh my God! <laughs> That's why and then, and then, you know, yeah, you're, and the other thing is, yeah, I mean, I shouldn't be using my age as a benchmark. I'm not the most mm, mature person no, around. Yeah, true that, true that. But still, it's one of those things... I like how you agree with it! <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, uh, wow. <laughs> but anywho, um, politics aside, we're not really politic political show. We don't really talk about it that much because either way, it's not related to pony. So we talk. Nay, po ponies are very much into politics, but you know, not, not the same kind yeah, of politics. Yeah. But is it either you like the sun we... or the moon? Uh, that or if you prefer equality on an extreme level. No, she's she's turning to friendship now. So it's a, it's either sun moon. Are all over there. You can you can destroy the leader, but the ideology will always remain. No, it's not. The town's not even there anymore. Uh, okay, then does does this mean that ethnic cleansing <laughs> was <laughs> canon? <laughs> no. Oh god. Did, 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 like, did Celestia order the bombing of the equality no, town? The, the town the, our town, as they call it, our town, really, um, is still there. But the ideology that they had... What's it called now? All your base? <laughs> no, it's our town. <laughs> Seriously, it's our town. <laughs> okay, fine. Oh, oh, another word is um, Starlight's, Starlight's, Starlight's Village. Something like that. Star City. Oh, what, Star City <laughs> Games? Okay, I don't know. Oh, God, no. <laughs> No, um, like I was saying, for pony politics is four. To be honest, let's say four: sun, moon, heart, or friendship. Pick a side. Uh, the balloons. <laughs> no, she's not real. <laughs> she's not real. And the eco, and the eco sign. Uh, I'm gonna stay in the basement of Sugar Cube Corner and be her secretary. <laughs> okay. Anyway, as for me, what have I been doing my week? Ah, uh, my week has been okay. Uh, nothing special. I did watch Marvel's new movie, um, Avengers Infinity War. The most ambitious crossover in history. Yeah, it took, what, <laughs> eight, um, ten years to do it. This movie, Marvel Avengers, um, I say it's good. It's worth the watch. To me, it's a good movie. It's kind of ambitious with what they're trying to do. And if you've seen all of the Marvel lineup, I say you should go watch it because... Characters that you know and invest in are there. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, sounds like movie night. Yep. And oof, mm. from what I can tell, a lot of people went in. And here's, here's the fun part. From a friend of mine who I met yesterday, he mentioned that um, on his Facebook feed, a lot of people were complaining about the movie. And some of the complaints were, Oh, the movie is ending. Well, the movie is not even done yet, and then they ended it that way. Oh, this this movie sucks and whatnot. And my friend said, "Like, huh? That, that's not right. Don't don't they know there's a sequel coming? So it's like, huh? There's always a sequel. Oh yeah, they they even announced it. If the producers don't do it, the fans will do it. <laughs> no, they announced it on their Marvel roadmap for what's coming out and Marvel Avengers. 
Infinity War Part 2 is coming out next year. So let's see how it goes from there. Um, besides that, I cannot talk about it in more in depth detail because that's spoiler. From what I can tell, I enjoy it and I would recommend people go watching it. Other than that, um, um, nothing much besides the <coughs> Overwatch and Street Fighters. It's plain simple. Uh, I, I've been doing nothing much. So yeah, that's it. You know, um, I've I've been trying to get in some hours of rain- some plays of Rainbow Six while uh, the week was going through. And if you're a player of if you're playing Siege and you don't keep up with the Siege news or the TTS, play as much as you can right now because a big big meta change is on its way. <laughs> You see that a huge no because new gadgets, new loadouts, and two new characters are coming in. So there's a big meta change. All right, all right. You you mentioned that because in Overwatch there's gonna be a meta change too. So Metra, the Indian tech support, uh, she's gonna be yes. changing her playstyle. Like instead of a support character, she's gonna be in a defensive slot. Uh... Interesting. Uh-huh. Well, this is what they announced and talk about, and instead of having three no six turrets she's only gonna have three now but so do we st- do we still get to be defender with that's not a word in. from what i can tell i don't <laughs> remember it's all in the notes and i'm not even sure anymore like i'm gonna say probably she's she's gonna be a high skill hero now so yeah from what i can tell her turrets are going to be deployable in the sense like she's going to throw them like a projectile stick to a wall stick to the ceiling and shoot out lasers and those lasers deal double damage than you normal so yeah uh-huh. like there's a lot of things go watch youtube videos online they talk about it um, i'm here just waiting for the hanzo patch to come live because scatter error is going to be gone so yay Oh wait, Scatter! Oh right, you mentioned that Scatter Arrow's going yep. away. Yay! Non Hanzo players are going to rejoice because that thing is bull crap. <sighs> <laughs> Just have to wait for the new Gata Kiwakuro. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, uh, good news for Sumitra is that she can deploy her teleporter like normal. Oh boy, it's gonna be so broken. Uh, what? What do you mean? Like, wait, you mean it's gonna become? It's not gonna be her ulti anymore. Yep, it's a normal one. And I think... She, oh, what's her ulti going to be? Some mega turret? not sure. I don't remember. I didn't hear the news. I need, I need to go back and double check it. But yeah. So Metra's going to have her teleporter as in um, normal ability. And from what they mentioned, that her teleporter is going to support non-players to teleport in. NPCs or like stuff. Stuff. Um, for example, she can teleport... Oh, good. Let's put the payload inside. <laughs> no, not that. Um, <laughs> for example, she can uh, teleporters can now teleport um, junk rats, rip tire, the payload. No, rip tire. Okay, fine. Wait, no, what? Yep. And <laughs> how how does he know the direction of it when it comes out the other side? I don't know. Probably <laughs> good teamwork something like that. But um, rip rip, uh, rip tire is going to be teleported. Um, Divas mech bomb is going to be teleported. So wait, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like. I think the most broken one will be Lucio. Oh, you you seen it? Have you tried it? Uh, I seen it. I was like, oh shit, it's so broken. I tried Considering it. Considering the fact that you can like non-stop wall riding. Yeah, and finally you can get the stupid achievement. So basically, Lucio is going to be like your character in Saints Row 4. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, pretty much. But anywho, that's the news for this week. Oh, I wish we were doing a Overwatch podcast so we can talk about this even more. But no, nah, we're not. We should We should just have a little like once a month gaming thing maybe probably probably uh, yeah maybe maybe a different I don't know different kind of topic we don't even have to just stick with pony yeah true but anywho uh, that's besides the point that's for future reference when we do something for the future so yay so anyway if... that will soon be the past when the next patch comes uh, yeah true that too <laughs> <laughs> but anywho uh, if you guys at home have any questions concerns or suggestions for the show you can contact us at com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show. My personal Twitter account is at Roman Sanzo. Uh, Star, where can the good people find you? People can find me on my DeviantArt, Angelico XX, or on my Twitter, AngelicorXX. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then, where can the good people find you? 
Uh, you can find me on Twitter at St. Pinky, S-T-P-I-N-K-I-E. You can also uh, find me on uh, Facebook and generally most of the other places. And um, I'll plug now if I'm allowed to follow C Ponycon on uh, Instagram and Twitter and Facebook as well. All righty then. C Ponycon is a thing. It's, it, was, it was always a thing. It was never not a thing, right? Yeah, it's it's been a thing for the last four years. Yeah, you know, I, I've been sense to because... all of them. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> well, my mind is confused, like because I'm thinking about the French Express. So yeah. <laughs> so you were in that one too. So uh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> I'm everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, yeah. But I've been all to. Uh, sorry. I've been all of the sea pony cons. Yeah. I've been all of one. <laughs> Yeah, the subset of one. Actually, uh, the other thing that I, um, you know, I did this. I think it was at least no, it was, it was, it was one, two, three, four, five years ago. I did this, and uh, I'm not talking about SeaPonyCon mm-hmm. in this particular context, but um, we have a Steam group that we never use. <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> we, wait, wait, we, yeah, the MBS show has a Steam group that we actually never what? use. I... It's um. Yeah, there's like two people in it. Did... And like, I don't know who the other guy is, but uh, <laughs> the link is here. I guess you guys can join it. And, you know, I mean, I just realized that since one thing that we do is we, we all game, I suppose we could boop each other once what? in a while. This is news. Oh, yeah. The... <laughs> look at look at the founded date. 30, what? <laughs> 2013, nice. Oh, I'm so glad that nobody... Friends and friends. I I am so glad that nobody found this out because I would have gotten strange um Twitter's email saying, Yo, Norman, what happened to the Steam group? Like it's dead. And I'll be asking, What Steam group? Is there, is there, I I don't know any Steam group that's alive. Yeah, Discord took over. Well, Discord is Discord for stuff. I mean Steam allows you to at least play with each other. Discord is like they've got like I don't know that new feature that they had in a, one of the last patch notes where they allow you to like I think it's for League of Legends players where you can actually see what game they're playing and not just that like what hero they're using Ooh, wow really yeah, yeah oh. they, they want to start implementing these the, the, rich features oh the discord overlays yeah I, I experienced no no not before. the overlay like you can actually see on the on your normal discord like if you have a friend who's playing League you can click on their profile and it shows you what like you know the, the Spotify feature you can see what they're listening mm-hmm. to Oh yes, the I, same I thing. But that. it shows yeah. you. In, it shows you on League where it actually shows the the actual character they're using inside the game. It's able to read into the game. Oof. Because I remember my case because I play Codes of Delicious too, and people actually can see what level I'm playing and how many perfects I'm getting. Oof. <laughs> the combos and whatnot. It's like, uh, okay. It was like, oh, you finally get a perfect. I was like, how did you know? I was like, then I was like, realized, oh, which game is that again? Codes of Delicious too. Oh, I see. Because um, like if you if you use you play where you play Rainbow Six on, you can actually see um what round in a match your friend is playing and whether it's a casual or ranked match, mm. which is handy because then you then you don't need to tell your friends I'm in the middle of a game. They should bloody well know. That goes for Overwatch too because the Overwatch has its own chat system when you can tell uh, with uh, BattleNet. Yeah, with, with BattleNet or yeah, usually it's BattleNet where they can tell. I think that's what they call the overlay. Yeah. Huh? Uh, it says like yeah, because if it's not battle it. if it's not battle net you probably got it from pirate bay <laughs> what no <laughs> <laughs> oh god but anywho yes um carrying on and also please subscribe and read us on itunes youtube and stitch radio don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and stitch radio and also please like our facebook page you can also catch us on from the live.com links are in the show notes and join our steam group yeah like what <laughs> For anyone who didn't know, the Steam community dot com slash groups slash mbss fn fnf 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 fans yeah. and friends fans, <laughs> fans and friends and friends old term yeah, yeah I know it's cliche no, no, we need to change that <laughs> no ex- except that that description is uh that group description is quite old yeah 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 oh man this is all this was actually copy pasta yeah from the old website Wait, did it did did we copy pasta Damn yeah, sure. I did. I did. No, I'm just trying to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that is all. Woof. Dan, I'm putting you in charge of this. 
I'm the one who plays the dot, least dot, games dot, among dot, you, dot, you dot, two. Dot, in dot, the... <laughs> no, yeah, I'm just like... That's a pro. Yeah, you're going to be in charge of this one. Like, yeah, it, like, you have always been in charge of this one. <laughs> okay, fine, yes. <laughs> Ah. The, the sleeper, the sleeper, the, the sleeper moderator. Yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, where was I in this note? Yes. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh. Also, do subscribe to the NBA Show Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll get me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Song, and so probably guest of the week talking about pony episodes, comics, movies, and also discussions. And sometimes we like to. De- go off the rail and not talk about ponies. Sometimes we like to talk about other cartoons or games. I mean, like a good example. Like right, right, now. On right now. <laughs> <laughs> like right yeah. now. Yeah. Like right now, but with more structure. I, I don't know. <sighs> no, we, I mean, one of the co- conversations that me and my friends have sometimes is we can just have a chat about, you know, the good old thing that bronies do ponify every damn thing and we can just say like you know hey what pony do you think may would be in overwatch and i think we all know the answer uh, uh you'll be an earth pony <laughs> <sighs> but anywho but anywho uh, if you ask her what uh, <laughs> uh, no <laughs> anyway if you guys would like to support the show you can do so at patreon.com with every support you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion part as exclusive and deleted content and a huge thank you from me and talking about thank yous I like to thank Lurker Cat Starstream Master of Lag Amy Mark Charles Lucky Knight and also Tristan thank you so much guys you have been really awesome to me so anyway I have been Roman Santo this is Starstream and I'm Saint Pinky and we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode in your show see ya okay, thanks bye, bye.